Hey everyone, Q here. How are you all doing? This is my 30 days of seed sowing hashtag that I've been using over on Twitter. So the idea with the 30 days, the hashtag 30 days of sowing was that I capture some of what I'm doing both the successes and the failures and of course the greenhouse or should I say glass house <laughs> is the main place where the seedlings are going I will show you the proper I have a little heated propagator that I'm making the most of so I'll show you that so this is the propagator it's a little one tray propagator I have to upgrade at some stage <laughs> but I haven't as yet and I sort of maximize what I'm doing here sometimes there's some seed chitting and sometimes there's some seed sprouting I've also got some rocket here someone on the sixth and the fourth of little micro greens so they're for, ready for using now and uh, some Turks head pumpkins haven't shown through there only saw them yesterday as were the striped courgettes and uh, some of the dahlias starlight again they get their little turn in the in the propagator now the parsnips see they're interesting because I've had them chitting since the start of April and I know they're slow to germinate but these ones are a year old and they're just deteriorating the seeds themselves so I have had one germinate and I think that's going to be that in the glass house just before we move into the seed side of things you can see the dahlias are coming up There's some fine bushy ones some haven't started yet there's only well little shoots coming through and of course I found our old friends the slugs roaming around so it's all starting with them on the seed front so what have we got well there's some calendula done at the start of the month and you can see they're ready for pricking out now or just about ready they've got their true seed leaves so they'll go into small individual pots a certain amount of them will nasturtiums were slightly older seeds that i had so they haven't germinated and they've been in did i write the date on the label not that i can see but they've been in probably about 10 days now so i think if i was going to see something i'd have seen it at this stage and these are a march sowing of hollyhock a purple one so nice to see them Greening up nicely, and of course they grow very fast. And some March spinach coming along. By its own, probably be about ten cells, and only two of them grew. So that was good to know. The first lot of lettuce, which are small plants, I bought. You can see are, are huge. Now we've been eating off these, and uh, I have another box as well. So the other box is the one that we're eating from at the moment. And they're having a little bit of a rest before they're pulled back into service. These are Monge 2 peas, again sown the first week. Their heads are up very nicely. And I have just a space for them. They're always easy, aren't they? And my tomatoes have a nice big root system on them now. Good sized plants. They're ready for putting on to the next stage. So it's lovely to see that. After having to mind them so much and see it being being so unsure. There is my white sweet pea. And they've been sown about a week as well. Around the same time as the as the nasturtiums. So I'm surprised I haven't, I haven't seen anything. You can see I have them perched up 
on a shelf here at the end of the glass house. A nice warm spot up here. <laughs> so you can see the basil that I divided last week. And we've been picking from it, so that's getting a little bit of a rest as well. And it's spreading some more leaves. Down here we have dill. Oh, you can't see the, you can't see the shoots. So again, they're coming up very nicely. Lovely to see them. Welcome back. And uh, some basil seedlings, which I'm particularly happy with, because sometimes basil decides that it won't do anything for me. So these guys are showing up very well. They were sown the third of the fourth. Some nice petunias in flower. It's great to see. It's early in the season, so they are taking a bit of mining, but it's nice to have a little bit of colour. And some lettuce. And I don't see the label for the lettuce, but again, sown about 10 days ago and it's shooting up nicely. So that will be very nice in the follow on from the lettuce that we're currently using. Sweet pea plant. I'm looking forward to my first sweet pea. It's a smelling my first sweet pea flowers. So I have three big pots like this from my autumn sowing. Three of them are, I have four, sorry, three of them are outside hardening off and I've kept this one in, giving it a bit, little bit of TLC. So growing nicely and strongly. Some carrot seedlings, which I had chitted, I think it was in late March was it, rather than April, and they germinated straight away, or almost straight away. I had nowhere to put them so we are not going to get straight carrots from them because they're in seed, <laughs> in cells, but I'll do something with them anyway. And the beetroot that I had, you can see the compost has been there. So that's the start of the month as well, but they just haven't germinated. So that seed has gone over, whereas the spinach, again, is coming along very nicely. Interestingly, you know, you can see some of them are quite advanced, whereas some of them are only just germinating. So we do have to be patient as we're sowing our seed. I was only talking to somebody there the other day. And they were saying, no sign of my tomatoes that I planted. Where are they? I'm saying, you have to be patient. But I sold them six days ago. <laughs> and they're saying, it's only six days. Now, since then, and I think they're on day 10 now, all the tomato plants are up. But yeah. Gardening is a wonderful teacher for patience, isn't it? And just waiting. So what have we got? Some cosmos there. This was... Just showing people on Twitter about using, um, you know, different containers and that for sowing seeds. So this, these were some old egg boxes. Um, so like, these are different cosmos that I'm sowing. But this is the cupcake, cupcake one. And it's particularly shot up very quickly, uh, which is great. And these are some Ipomnia seedlings. If I can focus in on them. I actually threw in a... A small handful and it's I didn't think they would the seeds are three years old maybe four so I was like oh if I get two or three seedlings from this lot I'd be lucky and jeepers I'm going to have a, a lot of morning glory plants <laughs> and you can see these guys haven't germinated yet nor have these cosmos so just waiting for them and again as I say some of the seed is very old so they may not, and that's fine. Um, the interesting thing about if you are using cardboard for sowing seed, and toilet paper tubes and other cardboard, you have to be careful because they are great for keeping moisture in. But like that, if they begin to dry out, they will act as a wick and they will pull the moisture out of the compost. So you just have to be careful with what you're using. I have this tray here, which is my salt tray. So I nearly always have that full with water. I saw that um, 
Muddy Boots has the same thing in one of his glass houses. They always have a tray like that with water in it. And like that, don't water seedlings from the top. Uh, put them and soak them into water as well. Put them into a soak tray and let them, let them pull the water up from underneath. It's, it's always a good tip. It's always a good tip. So that's giving you an idea of just what's going on on day is it 16 or maybe 17 by the time you see this of 30 days of sowing plenty going on plenty of learning as well and uh, I still have a few more seeds to sow yet anyway as always thank you for the chats and the comments and the likes don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for the most up-to-date uh, videos that are coming from here I do want to do one about clematis wilt you can see that one in the in the pot on the left hand no the right hand side of your screen there so I'll probably do something soon about that but anyway hit the bell button make sure you look after yourselves keep well stay safe Keep washing your hands. All the best. Bye for now.